Hey, g'day guys. Madman here. I'd like you to meet my brother. This is Daniel. Hello. <laughs> so, Dan's as nutty as me about four-wheel drives. And, uh, you know, naturally we grew up together in Papua New Guinea. Many of you heard me tell the story. But um, Dan's a little bit more proactive about actually building his four-wheel drives and pulling them together. So, as soon as we're having Christmas up at his place, I thought, well, I might as well show you some of the projects he's on about and what he's done. Now, Dan's not renowned for his uh, fit and finish. <laughs> <laughs> I use but, them. I use he them. Certainly so, use so tell us about this this 60 series, Dan. Well, I got this uh, 60 series in, in 2000, so I've had it for 17 years now. And, and the... Full body, wasn't it? It was full body with the, uh, the, the diesel, the 4 litre diesel in it. And the 4 litre diesel had 400,000 Ks on it and was starting to use a bit of oil. So I decided to, to move that on and I, I had a, an SS Commodore um, floating around so I took the engine out of that and put it to the Toyota running gear. Um, other than that, so it's standard Holden motor, standard Toyota running gear. Yep. And um, then after, I think it was about 2008, the, uh, I was onto the vehicle, it was onto its second roof Yep. Uh, because of rust. And that, this roof uh, was the starting. The old 60s to, are prone to that, aren't they? Yeah. So this roof was starting to rust out. So I came home from holidays one day, got a black texture, and walked around it just by eye. So next, come down this way. Come and we'll show you what he's done. And, and the next day, it was with an angle grinder, and this went along with the angle grinder all the way along, following the lines of the vehicle, and then um, fabricated the the uh, alloy sides for it. We've got a uh, roll cage engineered. This is engineered for eight ton, and bolted it all together so it's all engineered for a, for a New South Wales road, 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 isn't it? Road, road legal, registered. Road yeah. registered road what legal, yeah. uh, what? Well, you're obviously running the Mickey Thompson MTZs, the P3s, the new ones. Love the Mickey Thompsons. The Mickey Thompson tyres for me are the bee's knees because for the four wheel driving that I do, which is uh, a bit of everything, they they the side lugs help me with the mud. The, um, the the tyres overall give me a, a good ride, um, soft ride, which I like. I'm not so concerned the fact about they're, they're soft. Uh, I like the fact that I don't have to let too much air out of them to uh, to go four-wheel driving. And then when I get back on the road, I don't necessarily have to pump them up if I'm only doing a, a short stint to the, sure. you know, so I can go between tracks without having to pump them back up again because I'm on the beach a lot. Yep. Not necessarily with this vehicle because of the, the rust issues. Yep. Um, but uh, and what about what suspension you got in it? I've got Iron Man suspension under this. It's a two-inch Iron Man. That's about uh, probably 12, 13 years old. Yeah. Okay. Now. Um, still holding together. But it's still holding together. It's still yeah. Got oh, a yeah, cool. got a standard height. You know the, right. the Iron Man height. So. so that's what do you call this one? Toy. That's <laughs> the badge on the front. Yep. There you go. So what do you got on this side, mate? So on this side's a, uh, a 58. Land Rover X Army reconnaissance vehicle, and this one's had a, a, a going through a full rebuild, uh, which will this will end up road registered in about six months' time, and uh, I'll hoot around in that for a little while while I rebuild the engine in this one. <laughs> <laughs> now you've got plan you've got plans for that engine to be a little bit more than just a five liter, haven't you? Possibly the idea, the thoughts have been to supercharge it, although I think that's probably on the back burner now. Um, but I'm thinking about a. Uh, um, uh, intake, a, a, a intake manifold with a, a centre throttle body yep. um, that I can then put a bonnet scoop on it. Okay. Uh, so I'm thinking about that, and um, I've been talk I've been getting pricing for stroking it, okay. um, and uh, putting a twin throttle body on it yeah. as well. But uh, it's all up in the air. And see where you end up. See where I end up. <laughs> I mean, as it is, it goes quite well. It makes a makes yeah. a nice note. note so. Very good. Yeah. Very good. So yeah. there you go. So there's a little bit about uh, my brother and his four drives. And trust me, he's got a few more up there. One of them's a, what is it? A 1980. 86 two door Range Rover. That'll yeah. get uh, a rebuild. We'll be talking about that in about two years. I'd say. Yeah, two years. We'll give you a video on that one. <laughs> out the back paddock's another Land Rover. Um, Unfortunately, he likes his Land Rovers. <laughs> but no, but he, I like the Toyotas too. Yeah, and he's also got his Troopy up there, which is his touring rig, and he uh, goes all, all around Australia in that. So yeah. he gets to do more wheeling than I do. You want a job? <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys, I'm Mad Matt. Stay safe on the trails. <laughs>